Hi and welcome to Code with Stein. This is part 29 of how to build an e-commerce website using Django and Vue.js. In this part I'm going to make it possible to show the most popular products on the front page and I'm going to make it possible to show which recent products has been viewed. So the first thing I'm going to do is to change the product model. To do this I go into VS Code and open up store slash models dot pi and on this product model I need to add two more fields first num visits this is the field I want to track the number of visits this products have had models integer field and the default can be set to zero I also want one field for last visit models dot date time field blank equals true null equals true because not every product has a visit okay so now that i have these two new fields i can go to the command line stop the web server and then update the database python manage.py make migrations and python manage.py migrate and then i can just run the server again First thing I want to do is to add or increment this every time we see a product. So I need to go to views.py and inside product detail I can just say here product.numvisits equals product.numvisits plus one and product.save. So every time we now visit a product this will increment. So we can try this by going to the store, just refresh, go to the shoe, refresh one time and then we can go to the database and go into, into products and find the shoe and here we will see that the number of visits has increased to two. Perfect. And then I can also set the last visit to product dot last visit equals date time dot now date time dot now I need to import from date time import date time and save so if I again go to Chrome refresh go back to the database this is empty now but if I refresh it will say this time which is right now but a problem with this is that every time we save this we also call this function and the thumbnail will be generated on the server and this will be a huge problem in production when every time someone watches a product the thumbnail will be regenerated so this needs to be fixed before I can continue just want to remove this comment and instead of generating the thumbnail on save we can create a new function called def get thumbnail self if self dot thumbnail dot url no, if self dot thumbnail then return self dot thumbnail dot url else because now it checks that if you have a thumbnail it will just return the URL if it doesn't have a thumbnail we want to try to generate this you have to check if self.image then make self.make thumbnail self.image and the size can just be the default size and then return self.thumbnail.url else return empty so first it checks if there is a thumbnail we get the URL if not it checks if there is an image and then it will generate the thumbnail and return the URL and if there aren't an image we just get the empty string back So then I can just comment out this function 
and inside every place we use the thumbnail URL we need to change this because this needs to say okay you can just open up product list dot HTML and instead of saying this we can just say get thumbnail save so we can go to the front page and test this yes we have the thumbnails working still perfect this is probably also used other places but I can't remember right now maybe in the cart thumbnail yes instead of saying thumbnail and this we need to change this to product dot get thumbnail and save and this is also used in order PDF where we generate it so here I can also change to get thumbnail and save so now I think this will work all over the website perfect before I continue I just want to say thanks to my patreons if you too want to support me you will find a link to my patreon in the description below so now I can visit one more product refresh many times so it's a popular product and then I want to show these on the front page so if I go to core slash views dot pi I can get the products here by saying popular popular products equals product dot objects dot all and then I just want to order these by order by num underscore visits and I only want four of these so zero to four and then I need to pass them in here so I can use them on the front end and save if I now just open up front page.html and then below the featured categories I can copy these lines, paste them here, replace the title with pop popular products and replace this with popular products and save. So now if I go back, refresh have the most popular products here I see that I have them in the wrong order so I need to change to minus num visits and refresh so now I have the shower hair the shoe and these have zero views but they are currently the most popular products anyway and then below this I want to show the newest or recently viewed products so I can create one more variable in the views file recently viewed products can copy this but instead of saying num visits I just say last visit copy this paste it so I have them in the front end and then I can copy these lines again and then replace the title with recently viewed products and with popular products need to replace this with the variable here we just created save refresh and yes we just visit this this and also the other products here so if I now try to go into the lamp and go to the front page again this lamp should be viewed here first perfect so now we have the possibility to show the recently viewed products on the front page and the most popular products. You can also show these under each category and similar as well, since we now have the data for it. And that was it for this part of the video. Hope you liked it, and if you did, please click like below and share it with your friends. See you next time.